This video is brought to you by thepuzzler.com. In this video, we learn about combinations, permutations, and the various ways to calculate them. What are permutations and combinations? Permutations refer to the number of ways to arrange a specific number of items from n items. On the other hand, combinations refer to the number of ways to pick up a specific number of items also from n items. What is the difference between a combination and a permutation? In a combination, the order does not matter. On the other hand, in a permutation, order does matter. A permutation is just an ordered combination. Let's look at how to calculate the various types of permutations. There are two types of permutations. The first type is when repetition is allowed, and the second type is when there is no repetition allowed. Let's first look at when repetition is allowed. Let's look at a problem involving permutations with repetition. How many permutations of three digits are there chosen from the 10 digits 0 to 9 inclusive? Pause the video for more time to solve this problem. Permutations with repetition. If there are n different types of something, then it logically follows that we have n choices every single time. For example, if we have to pick 4 of these items and we have n choices each time, the total number of permutations is n times n times n times n, or n to the power of 4. In general, if we have to choose something that has r types, n times, we have the formula n times n times n and so on r times, or to simplify this, our formula is n to the power of r. Let's try our original question now. How many permutations of 3 digits are there chosen from the 10 digits 0 to 9 inclusive? We have 10 choices for each of the 3 digits. Our answer is thus 10 times 10 times 10, or 1000 arrangements. What if there are no replacements allowed? Let's look at a problem involving permutations without replacement. In how many ways can we arrange 8 distinct pool balls? Pause the video for more time. We have 8 choices for our first ball. Let's say we pick the ball with the number 7 on it. We then have 7 choices left for the second ball. Similarly, we would have 6 choices left for the third ball, and so on. So the total number of ways to arrange 8 distinct balls is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and finally times 1, which gives us our answer of 40,320 ways. But what if we only had to pick 3 of these 8 balls? Well then we would have 8 choices for our first ball, 7 choices for our second ball, and 6 choices for our third ball. Then we would just get 8 times 7 times 6, which would give us an answer of 336. The general formula for permutations without repetitions involves something called factorials. If you don't know what they are, just watch our video on it. The link is in the video description below. The formula for the number of permutations without any repetitions is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Where we are arranging r things out of n total things and there are no repetitions allowed. Let's now move on to combinations without repetitions. In how many ways can we pick 3 balls out of 8 distinct pool balls? Hint, order does not matter. 
Pause the video for more time to solve this problem. The easiest way to solve a combination problem like this is to assume that order matters and then alter our answer so that the order does not matter. We had 336 combinations when order does matter. But now, a lot of the combinations are the same. For example, if we pick the balls 1, 2, and 3, and the order did matter, then 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, and 3, 2, 1 would all be different arrangements. But when order does not matter, they're all the same and they all equal the arrangement 1, 2, 3. So for every 6 permutations, we have one combination. In fact, if we want to arrange n things, there are always n factorial ways. So the total number of permutations is always n factorial times more than the total number of combinations. Thus, we can take our formula for the total number of permutations n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and divide it by r factorial, which gives us our new formula for combinations n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. This is also expressed as that notation that you can see on the right, which is pronounced N choose R. Let's solve the original problem. We have to pick three balls out of eight. This is equal to eight choose three. So N is equal to eight and R is equal to three. Thus, applying this in our formula, we have eight factorial divided by five factorial times three factorial, which would give us our answer of 56 possible combinations. Combinations with repetitions are covered in one of our other videos. See the description for details. That was a lot to learn, especially if you have never seen combinations and permutations before. Make sure you rewatch the parts of the video that you were not able to understand. Here are three problems for you to try on your own. Number one. In how many different ways can you select a committee of 5 people from a total of 10 people? Number 2. A special type of password consists of 4 different letters of the alphabet, where each letter is used only once. How many different possible passwords are there? And number 3. In how many ways can you make a word that is 3 letters long? The word does not have to be a real word. If you know the answers to any one of these problems, be sure to comment them down below to check if you are correct. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe so you can get notifications for my future videos and be sure to hit that like button. See you in the next video.